Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kev. Yes, today we're going to be going back to Band of Brothers. I'm absolutely loving this series at the moment. It's so eye-opening and emotional. Um, yeah, it's absolutely uh, phenomenal is the word that I'm looking for. This time, we're on episode 3 and it's Karen Tan. So yeah, I heard the mention in the last episode that they were going to, to the village of Karantan. That's how I pronounce it correctly. Yeah, so I'm thinking it's a village that they're going to have to try and liberate. Hmm, maybe. We'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. Now, they're kind of on the ground. It's a full ground assault. The last time we saw, haven't really seen this this yet. Uh, before we saw the, the initial training. Then we saw uh, when the, uh, Winters and Easy Company landed. They, they, they met up. Kind of after a lot of after the after the jump, they met the finally, and then they had to attack the guns, which was an unbelievable episode. Yeah, so this time they're going to be it's kind of like a ground assault. And they're going to be attacking. Uh, they're going to be going into the town of Carantan. Uh, absolutely super excited for this. Um, as you are aware, I'm I'm loving the show more than anything at the moment. It's so immersive and um, just raw emotion uh, is the best way I can put it. Yeah, absolutely loving it. So if you're enjoying the channel, please hit the like button and subscribe. And yes, I do put the full length episodes too, Band of Brothers and other stuff that I've done over on my Patreon. I will leave a link below in the description. So yeah, let's go. Just super excited. I don't want to wait around any longer. I've just, I've got to watch it. Super good. Karen Tan. Some boy. Oh, that's why you turn around when I'm not a Quaker. Oh my god, I'm so immersed in it. Oh, I wonder what happens there then. This book looks all fucked up. Oh, please have the guys talk at the beginning. I never thought I'd get through D-Day. I thought I was going to get killed instantly. <laughs> a quick death uh, or I'd come through probably without a scratch. People that can handle fear. Scared of anybody else except I could think. And you would not let your comrades or your unit down. You try to handle your fear and and work to accomplish what you're supposed to be doing. Wow, man, those guys are just on different levels, man. Fucking Jesus. I'd love to have had a chance to talk to one of them. That they've actually that actually been there on in 1944 and done that. Oh, wow. Just uh, not even any words, is it? Hell's he doing? It's a little bit out of it, doesn't he? Hey, Blythe. Blythe. Oh, he looks like he's lost the plot a bit, hasn't he? You're the first from all your faces I've seen. I ain't surprised. Been fighting with the 502nd since we hit the ground. You? I've been there. Uh, oh, he's fucking gone. Trying to find easy. Oh, the one I keep an eye on him, mind. He doesn't look well. Might you have a bit of shell shock, maybe? I mean, I know that would have an effect on you mentally after day day to do that jump, but. Hey, the boys! Well, you decided to show up, Floyd. Stuff, man. Yeah, of course. You're like, oh, you're like this. nice. Oh, My lure is gonna put you all to shame when I get it. <laughs> They're all ticking. Oh wow. Like their previous owners. Got anything good? Jesus. Not yet. Right. Hey. Popeye Wayne got pinks in the behind. I was gonna say, did Popeye make it? They think the plane went down. Oh you say shit. He's gonna turn up. Yeah, I ain't holding my breath. Are they still not found me, Hen? Yes, Winters, get them into shape. Oh, that's not. It's Welsh. Welsh. Easy's moving out. I'm starting to get the. I'm. I'm getting the guys now. I'm getting the names. Taking Carantan. That sounds like fun. Huh. It's the only place where armor from Omaha and Utah Beach can link up and head in. Oh. So we take Carantan. They're stuck on the sand. We take in Carantan. Give me three days and three nights. Yes, Lutz. And you will be relieved. Yeah, yeah. Lieutenant. <laughs> yeah, I love Lutz. Slide. Glad you could join us. Thank you, sir. First platoon falling behind Fox. There's something about them. I'll be you careful. From second and third platoon follow us. <laughs> they seem to be focusing on Blythe, and he seems to be a little bit zoned out. 
Um, obviously, you would be mentally fucked after after the jump and day day anyway. You don't know what you've seen, but I think they need to keep an eye on that kidder. Don't wait, Jerry. Oh, he's gonna get his watch. See, some people just deal with it differently. For some people, it's just you know, it is what it is. Take light, go find F company. Yes, sir. The one with the watches on. This is about officers crapping out on their training necks. Come on, let's get the show on the road. I like the fact that Nix is back with Winters. I think something could happen and he could freeze under the pressure. He could what is it? just feel like he's he's right on the edge to snap. Flash. Thunder. I can hear y'all all the way across the veil. You have blind. Go back to the lieutenant. Tell him we found F Company. He's dead, Private. Oh, I thought he was gonna shoot fucking Jesus. I could have shot Winters. I thought he had me. That's Edelweiss. That only grows uh, in the Alps above the tree line. It's supposed to be the mark of a true soldier. Wow. That's very, very interesting. The day plus six, or so six days after the jump. Karen 10. I bet this is going to be quite intense in, in town battling, in town fighting. And, and it's light, it's daylight as well. First, straight up the middle, hard fast. Akante has got to watch if you need it. Go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, oh no, shit. Run! Oh, look at that! Oh my god, he's just one fucking Jesus, man! Put your head down, Winters, man! Winters is just running up, trying to rally everyone. Wow, what a move by Winters, man! He's just like you get up now, basically just lying in a kill zone. Power lip. Shit in the windows. There's one in the right upper lip. Medic! Oh no. Sniper. Oh nice shot. He's fucking fired. Oh. oh my god, what a boy! <laughs> he like threw it in and I just get up against the wall. Shifty, man. Careful, Shifty. My god, this is so, so intense. The whoever's in there is wrecked. Oh, wow. What a visual. Wow. It's just kind of everything just... Oh, see? They nearly smashed and threw a grenade and there was kids in there. If Luz had done that, I would have killed them all. They got a zero! What's wrong with them? Get out of the street! It's an artillery! Okay, now. Oh, he's gone. Has he gone? There it is. Come on, wasn't it? He's just cracked. Oh my fucking god, whoever that was just... 
No. Fucking leg blown off. Oh no, he's... Oh no, you're do so dead. What was that? What was that lip? Oh no. Oh, he's fucking... He's not dead as... Oh, oh, I think his leg's blown off. Oh my god. You're okay, Lip. Everything's right where it should be. I thought he had his fucking dick blown off. Hello? Anybody there? Oh no. <laughs> Joe? Looking good, Chip. And you? Looking real good. Come here, buddy. You gotta sit down. Come here. Come on. Easy. Easy. There you go. There you go. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. Hang in there, buddy. Okay, we're gonna get you fixed up. All right? Okay. Guys, you want to give me a hand here? Come on. That was fucking awful. Why is there? He's the priest, by the looks of it. I can't believe that that scene there. That that scene was fucking. That scene was so intense. The camera work, the way it blurred the sound. You could tell it. It mean it sounded like his eardrums had exploded. <laughs> just driving on a horse. It's safe to cross. <laughs> you want to move the wound? Uh, yes, sir. Come on, let's get him out of here. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, was it? That wasn't a full though. It didn't. Yeah, it sounded like a ricochet. Lucky it was a ricochet. I was gonna say it sounded like it hit the ground first. You just caught a piece of it. You're gonna be all right. Yeah. Oh, there's Blythe. What's wrong with Blythe? Yeah, fuck all. Well, nothing. Uh -huh. Except he can't see. Can't he see. Sees. So he says. It's Lieutenant Winters. What happened? I don't know, sure. He's just his cheese slipped off its cracker. It just kind of went black on me. I can't see a thing. I'm gonna get you out of here. Get you back to England. I didn't uh, want to let anyone down. Oh, can see you again. Uh, I'm okay. What? You can see? That would be very worried for like, if you're like... I don't know what happened. Like Winters is like, what the fuck's wrong with you, son? I, I think, I think I'm okay. All right. Well, stay here a little while longer and, uh, and make sure. Yes, sir. Keep an eye on him. Winters is going to look at the dock as if to go fucking watch him, mind. Not my words, Mel. Berlin by Christmas. Don't they know we're just getting settled here? Careful. You know you're taking your life in your own hands. I didn't actually see it. What, Spear shooting the prisoners or the sergeant in his own platoon? Shot one of his own guys? Supposedly the guy was drunk and refused to go on a patrol. He breaks out a pack of smokes. Passes him out. He swings up his Thompson and he hoses him. But it was more than eight guys. More like 20. He took that last 105 on D-Day practically by himself. Running through MG fire like a maniac. Yeah, that I did see. <laughs> I don't know. It did actually. He take it. It didn't actually see it. You never saw it, but it did kind of insinuate that he did it. Platoon, weapons on me. That means you, Private Blythe. Get up. That scene in Carantana, I can't get over it. That was so like 
heart wrenching. I'm normally not one for like that. That almost broke me, that. And I'm not normally one for like that shit. There's high ground up ahead. Saying that we're never in the middle. And we're the fifth of nine companies of this regiment. You see that? Ooh, get down. You can, you can kind of tell something's gonna happen. Wow, man. Are they just, are they just singing? What have they got to sing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful, careful. Fucking hell, Welsh. And let Blythe get some sack time. Oh. Ayla being like told off winters. How you doing, Blythe? Yeah. What happened to the aid station today? Yeah. Call it hysterical blindness. Hysterical blindness. It's basic. It's a game, Blythe. That's all. Hell, we're just moving the ball forward one yard at a time. Nothing but a game. Wow, when you look at it like that. Harry. 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 I'm gonna call him Harry from now on. Shit, Blythe, you'd have spit all over your own shoulder. Told me left a company to defend Carrington. Yeah. May have been on the way to a counterattack when we ran into him here. Strength unknown. Strength unknown. Whoa. They want the town back. Shit. Don't come before them. We're attacking at first light, 0530. What the fuck? I'll tell the men to fix bayonets. Hurts. <laughs> War is hell. War is hell. I like Harry. What? Smith, wake up. Come on, Smith. Oh no, he's gonna think he's a German. You watch. Smith, it's me, Talbot. <laughs> no. What the hell are you doing? That's Talbot. I didn't. God damn. He Medic! stopped Talbot. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. He looked like a crowd. Mm. Oh Look at God. me. Oh, oh mate. Okay, I'm just gonna get on the wound, oh Floyd. You're gonna be fine. Then go take a look. Oh, I wouldn't send him out. No. Lieutenant Spears, sir. Check out the noise, sir. I just came from there. Everything's under control. Just do what you have to do. Like you did on D Day, sir. Oh. Sir, when I landed on D-Day, I found myself in a ditch all by myself. Try to find my unit. To fight. I just kind of stayed put. You know why you hid in that ditch, Blythe? No, he's brutal, isn't he? You hid in that ditch because you think there's still hope. But Blythe, uh -huh. the only hope you have is to accept the fact that you're already dead. And the sooner you accept that, the sooner you'll be able to function as a soldier is supposed to function. Whoa. Without mercy, without compassion, without remorse. Already dead. All war depends upon it. He's fucking brilliant, isn't he? Brutal, but brilliant. He is like, a, like a, the soldier's soldier. Yeah. He's like, a, if you had a platoon of them, like of spears, there's no stopping you. Here you go, guys. Now, we don't know what they've place, got. Okay? Can't be Harry, lad. Packing a oh. force, possibly more paratroopers. <laughs> and you know how they can be. Fire a maneuver. Bill? Dog and Fox companies will be on our left flank, moving with us. It's 9.30 in the evening back home. Must be. Oh, you heard it? Whoa! Accept the fact you're already dead. Oh my god, you're down. Easy. Those mortar teams are pretty impressive. Oh my. Careful, Winders. You just don't know if a bullet's gonna come through the trees. Fire superiority! Start here! Keep them pinned down! Whoa. Oh, he's still in the ditch. Oh, 
man, it's awful. It's a tank. No. No. There's a fuck. There's a fucking tank. That's why. Oh no. Fucking tank units gone past. Complied. Go on, Winters, man. <laughs> Fucking legend. Oh, your fucking fingers blown off. Come on, hit the tank, hit the tank. <laughs> Was it a Harry? No. Oh my God. Oh no, who else? I took one in the chest. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, you're dead. If you're gonna go, I'll go quick. Come on, Blythe. Look at the state of them, man. Don't know what he, he still eventually he, he came came good. He needed he need cork, corks and out of his foxhole, but Winters was saying Winters was like just follow my lead. Looks like you fellas had a heck of a fight. Whoa, man! Oh, is he gonna go and see if the guy's dead? He's not gonna be there, is he? Ah, is he gonna follow the blood trail to a body? Oh, he's trying to patch himself up. Oh, he's just bled out. It must be so like weird to know that you've done that. It's just a person at the end of the day. Ah, oh, there's the flower. So I said he was a true soldier. He's gonna put it in there, isn't he? Intense. I hate asking for volunteers. And pick them. Need to take a look at that farmhouse. Who wants to go? I'll go. Good lad. Well done, Blythe. Anybody else? Martin, Duke, when you just volunteered. Live lead scout. Good Leave lad. Out. 
What exactly are you doing with your reserve shoot? Gonna send it to Kitty when we get back to England. Kitty's girl. Wow, I love it. Figure it'll make a good wedding dress, you know. Oh. Rationing and all. Good lad. Jeez, Harry, I never would have guessed. <laughs> I'm so sentimental. No, that you think we're gonna make it back to England. <laughs> yeah, well done, Nick's cheers. Careful, it's a good sniper position up there. Oh no! Oh, he's been shot straight through the fucking neck. Oh my god, that's a surprise. What? Oh my fucking god. He's not just gonna bleed out there, is he? Take it easy, boy. Take it easy. Get some gauze on that plasma. It's. Oh my god, he's been shot in the neck. He's gonna die. They're pulling us off the front line. Now? To a field camp north of Utah Beach. What? Like Hot food. And showers. Blythe. Then back to England. What? They're pulling us off the front line. Oh, do you know what? Is he, did he die? That was so weird because this episode's been kind of about Blythe. It was the first person you saw. Talk to Colonel Sink. Said he appreciated easy holding the line. Said General Taylor was pleased. That's why I came to France. Please, General Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is my honor to present you with the Order of the Purple Heart. The Purple Heart. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Hey, I got one hole in my shoulder, a second in my calf, then there's the boil on my shin that had to be lanced. Wow. Oh, no, don't do anything, silly. I thought they were gonna fucking crash. Deck the lines dressed like a crab. Us <laughs> both high, low, and skewered the boy from Kokomo. Some bad news here. You have some? Yeah. 17th Street. Yeah, Front Street. Hey. Yes, yes. We've taken wow. matters into our own hands. Oh no, what's happening? Tab, this is for you. The ba he's told their CEOs, hasn't he? He's told the commanding officers what's going on. Oh, look at the faces. Oh, shit, here we go. All passes are hereby revoked. We're heading back to France. Oh. Just pack up all your gear. We will not be returning to England, boys. Anyone who has not made out a will, go to the supply office. As you were. Oh, oh wow. Uh, Private Malarkey. Come on, Malarkey. Uh, two shirts, two pairs of trousers, light starch. Lieutenant Mian's one of yours, isn't he? Mian. He hasn't forgotten his laundry. Oh, it's all the boys' laundry. You couldn't be a dear help me with a few others, could you? Oh, no. Sergeant Flozer. Gray. Owen. Blythe. Blythe, die. Wow, 65. <sighs> okay, so you talk about emotions. I don't think I've been able to, I don't think I've finished an episode of this yet with kind of emotions in check. The first, obviously the first episode was about the, the training. You still kind of felt, I felt a little bit euphoric, a little bit happy at the end of that one. The last two, I've kind of come off, I feel like I've, you know, I feel like I've had an electric shock. It's kind of like the emotions up and down. Um, I normally don't get emotional, that emotional at stuff. Um, that, that bit at Carantan was just, it was just so brutal. And I'm sure you agree, he was, if you've seen it, like obviously you've seen it. But it was um, so hard hitting. Yeah, it kind of, it was unexpected, and it just kind of knocked me for six. Um, yeah, that was, I didn't expect it almost break on that one. Um, 
but it, it was just because it was so realistic and so well done and so well thought out. Um, the explosion and then the way you saw the camera where you, could, you couldn't, couldn't hear them, obviously they were signifying his eardrums had exploded, that's why he was he couldn't hear properly. Uh, and he was just in bits, uh, but he's like obviously he was you know, he was just moving along because it, you know, full of adrenaline and everything kind of pushed him through. You just don't know what happened to him. He probably died. His legs were fucking just completely gone. His face had almost blown out. It was just horrific. And uh, yeah, but overall, I mean, taking Carantan was brutal. And but tactically, you know, that's what they had to do. They had to take that because it was a, a major like holding point. Um, so you know, they're just doing what they're told. You know, they're going in. Winters is getting. You know he's he's leading them, so he he gets his orders from above, and then they they, they uh, he has to just pass them on to his men. Um, I, I did like the 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 Blythe story. I think it signified two separate things. Um, how different people dealt with the the war. You see, some people it was showing you some of them that were just gung ho, running out, shooting, firing, like even laughing, not even laughing about it, but like just so like uh, it felt it was like it was almost like chalk and cheese with winters and Blythe, you saw Winters at the top shooting, also when they were, they were going into Carantan and they were getting attacked, you saw Winters just walking around saying, get up, get up, bullets flying past him, and then, you know, when uh, Blythe was talking to uh, Spears about when he landed on D-Day and he was saying, you know, how he just, like, crawled in a hole, um, and he didn't know why he, had, he, could, he didn't look for them, it's, it's just shock, you know, everybody has their own mental capacity and, and, and what can cause them to have PTSD or what can what can slip you over the edge or what makes your cheese slide off its cracker, you know? Everybody has their own tipping point and um, some people, you know, are built differently. Um, it doesn't make them any harder or it just means that their their mental capacity is different and it showed you that Blythe, although he went through a tough time and hysterical blindness, I'd never heard of that before, um, he got over it. And then he walked out and he got hit by a sniper in the neck. And uh, yeah, it said that he died maybe four years later, said 48. So yeah, he died four, four years later and never recovered from that, which is unbelievably sad. Um, but I did like the fact that the, the highlighted Blythe uh, and they showed his bit of life. And also because of the way it mirrored how some people in, can act in the war, um, I, I found that extremely interesting, the fact that they did that uh, that way. Um, the, you know, they could have just highlighted the, the win. Instead, they highlighted somebody who, you know, was really affected by it. You know, like, sitting when the bombs were going, he was, like, lying there and screaming. Like, literally, hand on hat, screaming, because he just, he just couldn't deal with it. Um, and then he eventually kind of pulled himself together. Yeah, and you, there was no happy ending for him, though, you know? that's And that's the brutal brutality, but brilliantness of this show so far. Never, ever... Just, seen a show no I don't think I've ever I've, I don't think I've ever watched a show that has like as much of a I'd say like a, an emotional effect if that makes sense just yeah you, you, you're all over the place all the way through because it's so realistic yeah your adrenaline's kind of pumping along with it so when it ends I'm still feeling on edge like my adrenaline's still pumping so I'm having to kind of come down off the adrenaline from it because it's not only so realistic but you know it actually happened as well um and at the end there, you, you, you know, you, you saw him picking up people's, picking up people's stuff, you know, and, uh, you know, that all, that all died. And obviously it was just, it's just, it's just highlighted again that, you know, people that they didn't, they didn't make it back and they'd gone back to England for a bit, but then they were like, look, you've been called back and you won't be coming back. So you'll be back off to France and that's it. You know, you're going to be going balls deep. Let's, let's, let's just say it as it is. You're going balls deep in the war when you get back. And that was it and just it's just been fabulous absolutely fabulous so far um yeah that's all i have to say if this is your first time watching me uh, and you've enjoyed this so far uh, i have done the other ones obviously i'll put link for episode one and two down there and uh yeah if you spent any time watching it with me just thank you so much from the bottom of my heart if i know that uh, all of you have said it's such an amazing an amazing show and uh yeah you're absolutely 100 correct and uh, i'll see you all for the next episode